Hello and welcome to the volunteer training for professional stylists. I'm Candy Cantrell, the Director of Volunteer Engagement, and I'll be taking you through this quick training today. In this video, you will learn how to conduct your in-person professional styling sessions. We will talk about the importance of practicing body diversity and body positivity when working with your clients in our boutique. Then we will learn how to conduct your virtual appointments. And I will show you the Google Classroom where all of our resources are stored. You can think of it as a volunteer resource hub for you. Okay, so on the next slide, we will watch a video that was made about four years ago. Since then, we have made some changes to the image consultation process. After the video, I will go over the updates to the process. Hi, I'm Candy. Thank you for volunteering for Dress for Success Austin. We are so grateful that you are spending your valuable time serving our clients. In your role as an image consultant, you will get to work one-on-one -on -one with our clients to make sure that they feel confident and empowered for their interview or for their new job. Today we are going to learn how to suit a client. At Dress for Success, we provide three kinds of suiting. One, interview suiting, where we provide two complete outfits for an interview. Two, employment suiting, where we provide two additional outfits for the client's new job. And three, voucher suiting, where clients have earned vouchers through program attendance and receive four items per voucher. So what are two complete outfits? An interview suiting could include any pieces to make two complete outfits, such as a suit with a top, a dress with a cardigan if needed, a pair of shoes, a handbag, and accessories. For an employment suiting, we ask the client what she needs for her specific job or what the dress code is. Maybe she wants two dresses or needs two pair of pants that she can pair with tops, a pair of shoes, a handbag, and accessories. 
Voucher suitings allow the client to receive four items. You will need to consult with her to find out what she wants or needs. Dress for Success is not a clothes closet. Our clients don't shop the racks in the boutique. As an image consultant, you will provide a one-on-one -on -one personal styling session for your client. You will put outfits together for her while she is in the fitting room. We don't have mirrors in our fitting rooms so that you can see how the clothes fit on your client and you can make adjustments according to what makes her feel the most empowered. Now, let's head to the boutique and meet your client. First, warmly greet your client. Introduce yourself. Ask them, how are you doing today? Walk your client to the back of the boutique where there are chairs. Have the client take a seat and using the information she listed in her client folder, review clothing, shoe sizes, and personal preferences together. Ask the client questions that help you understand the kinds of clothes she will need. Like, do you have an interview? What type of job are you looking for? Are there any colors or prints you would like to avoid? Do you prefer pants or skirts? For shoes, do you prefer flats? Or can you wear a heel? Ask the client what size shoes she wears and then pull a temporary pair of shoes for her to wear while trying on clothes. Outfits look best when put together with the right pair of shoes. Next, grab two bras for her bra fitting. Her bra size will be in her folder or you can reference the size that she is wearing to gauge what size to pull. Have the client try on the bras and if she is comfortable with you entering the dressing room, examine the fit. The client can have one bra. Pull one complete outfit for the client and have her try it on. While she's trying on her first outfit, work to find a second complete outfit. Then, you review the first outfit, make any necessary adjustments, and repeat with the second outfit. Review the second outfit, make any changes. Make sure you add accessories, shoes, and one handbag. Also, take her to the beauty counter and offer her one of any type of cosmetics or toiletries that she may need. Then, personally take her back to the front desk to either begin her career center appointment or to schedule additional appointments. Give your client a warm goodbye. And finally, update any change to her sizes in the client folder and indicate the quantity and type of clothing she received in the spaces provided. We know you will enjoy serving our clients as an image consultant. Seeing a client's transformation in only one hour is very rewarding. Thank you for your time. The video you just watched describes the client and the volunteer completing paper documents and returning them to a client folder after the appointment. However, now clients complete a clothing request form online that includes their sizes and preferences. You can see it here on the left. And when the client arrives, the front desk volunteer prints it and then gives it to you, the volunteer. After the appointment, you will complete an online form that you can see here on the right. There are iPads at the front desk for you to complete the form. Once you've submitted it, please then shred the client's paper clothing request since it often contains sensitive information. Between the online form that the client completes and the post-appointment survey that you complete, we have all the data we need to collect. At Dress for Success Austin, we are inclusive and body positive. Being body positive and body diverse means that we promote the acceptance and appreciation of all body types, regardless of their shape, size, or appearance. We aim to promote self-love and confidence in individuals of all backgrounds and identities. So when our clients come to the boutique, we want to provide a positive and inclusive environment for them. In your role as a professional stylist, you will help our clients achieve their desired professional personal style. Your goal is to make them look and feel their best and give them confidence, making them feel empowered in their professional clothing. Often our clients are coming to us with body image issues, maybe they've never worn professional clothing before, and certainly some of them have not had a professional styling session. 
So we like to remember that dignity, respect, and collaboration are the cornerstones of how we interact with our clients. The following are some don'ts when you are in your professional styling session with your client. You'll want to discourage her from talking badly about her body. You can redirect her by making positive comments. Personally, I just say, we don't allow any negative self-talk in our boutique. As a stylist, never ever comment on your client's clothing size or body shape. Also, never ever offer advice on weight loss or weight gain. Now let's talk about some body positivity do's. Instead of commenting on how your client looks in her clothing, ask them how she feels wearing the clothes. You can ask her, do you feel happy? Do you feel comfortable, empowered, or do you feel like yourself? You can um, ask, does anything feel uncomfortable? Um, You can say something like that color complements your eyes or point out a specific detail that that you like about the outfit you can say something like you look put together or you look polished sometimes I'll say wow you look like you're in charge or you look like you're gonna get the job just stay really positive when you're talking with your client just to avoid her feeling negative about her body herself or the interaction Now let's talk about virtual professional styling or image consulting. We began virtual appointments during the pandemic. Then virtual volunteers assisted clients with completing a form to receive a clothing package that they would come and pick up. Now that we are back in person, we are no longer offering clothing packages, but we still are offering an option to meet virtually with an image consultant or professional stylist. Now that we are back in person, we are no longer offering clothing packages for clients to come pick up. So sometimes when a client books a virtual appointment, she really just needs help booking an in-person appointment to receive professional clothing. During a virtual image consultation, you may be assisting with other things too. So you may be assisting her with booking an in-person appointment. Uh, You can share your screen and go to our website, book an appointment for her, and help her complete a clothing form. Since the form asks for sensitive personal information, you may want to offer to email the appointment form or the appointment link to her to fill out on her own. She may also want to book a career appointment as well. So you can do that from this webpage. You might also be assisting her with choosing clothing from her own closet. Maybe she has an interview coming up and she has some ideas of what to wear, but she just wants to show you some options and get your advice. You may also be providing guidance on appropriate clothing for interviews or for workplaces. In the orientation video, we discussed how to sign up for your shifts and how to submit your availability for virtual volunteering. So, how will you know if a client books an appointment with you? First, you will receive an email saying a client has booked an appointment with you. This email looks the same for both image and career coaching appointments. The email will have detailed instructions for you and your client. You will then contact the client to confirm the appointment with her. It is very important that you let me know if your availability changes and you are unable to attend an appointment that a client has booked with you. These appointments are time sensitive for our clients. They may have an interview that day or the next day that they need support with. Sometimes volunteers no show for their virtual appointments and that makes it really difficult for us to maintain the client's trust. So please reach out to me if you have an appointment booked that you can't attend or if your availability changes. We will find someone else to help the client. After you meet with your client, you will need to complete the post-appointment survey. This survey is included in the Google Classroom that we will discuss next. Now let's talk about the Google Classroom. 
Google Classroom is an app in G Suite. And it's a file sharing platform that's used by teachers and students. We use it to organize all the resources you need to conduct your virtual image and career consultations. You can think of it as a one-stop hub for all volunteering materials. In the Google Classroom, you will find materials under the following topics. Training, all of the volunteer training is housed here and in our YouTube channel. Guides on how to conduct your virtual and in-person appointments. And then for clients, there are self-evaluation materials, job search materials, materials on how to create an elevator speech, resumes and cover letters, LinkedIn profiles, interview topics, and upcoming networking and job fairs. There are resources for training programs in there that you can share with your clients. And then there are resources that are non-job related. So please make yourself familiar with the Google Classroom. Most of the information in there are for career consultations and career coaching, but it's good to take a look around so that when you're meeting with your client, if anything comes up that you know we have materials on, you can share with her. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I look forward to seeing you around the boutique or in the virtual world, whatever you choose to do. And don't hesitate to ask any questions of me. Also, keep an eye out for an email to sign up for your first shift. Thank you and have a great day.